All right, everyone. Good morning. It's uh, pretty early here on Saturday, but I just thought I had an opportunity to do an end of week update. So markets closed. And all right, let's see what's happened. So I was talking about gold and waiting for the weekly candle to close. So let's see what it's looking like. And that's what it looks like. So what I'll wait for is Tuesday, our London session, and see what the price action does. So look, there's a couple options. Um, what I'd like to see on Monday is it just sort of go sideways, maybe uh, I'll pull back a little bit and then push a little bit higher. So I'm still watching this one, but I'm also cautious um, I'm definitely cautious, so we'll see. It uh, moved pretty strongly, as you can see, the four hours just, yeah. So I, I, I missed this, but we'll see. We'll see. There's potential that it could still push higher, especially with what's going on with, you know, interest rates and, and things like that and the Iran situation. So it's pretty volatile. The trade war, I think... Uh, it's not this weekend. I know Trump and uh, Xi Jinping meet with the G20 summit. So hopefully, you know, something can, can happen with that. My call is it won't, you know, they'll just talk a bit and then it will just be sort of, there'll be no sort of significant event coming out of that. But I mean, they're talking at least. So USD Swiss, I noticed, uh, is really just, let's go to the weekly actually. So there we go. All right. So it's interesting here with our close for the week. Um, look, just looking at that, it's it's bounced before down here. But I'll definitely watch this. And I'll be watching it just to see what the US dollar is doing on the Tuesday. So there's some potential at least. So we'll see. We'll see with the USD Swiss. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of reversal. Buy, uh, buyers coming in so that's something to pay attention to but I'll I'll keep an eye on that one as well and um Euro Aussie Euro Aussie where is that hiding there it is and um again we'll see how it closed for the week see that's um to me looking at that it's a potential breakout so I'll watch that as well. And now, all right, so we've got the Euro Aussie long, potentially, gold long, potentially, and uh, USD Swiss is a short. Now, I just want to, this is how the week's been. So it's been pretty good. Uh, I had a stab at Euro Pound. Uh, I'd moved the uh, stop loss a little bit. Close it out manually. So... Uh, but it's actually trading high. So I was looking at shorting that again. USD CAD short. I played just with the uh, US index just easing off. And uh, Aussie dollar short as well. Yeah, look, Aussie's no longer short. And then the pound yen is why I took a trade on that. So this isn't too bad for the week, up 2.5%. So can't complain. Uh, I guess we can have a little chat about the Aussie dollar. Aussie dollar, definitely not. Uh, short right now it's just it's persistently holding around here it's it's not wanting to go really much lower like 68 mid is is really where it's saying we're holding here you know which is fair enough um that's the markets so you've got to be you know i have a very strong bearish thesis on this pair so um, but technicals tell me the story and the, the story is it's not really bearish currently right now to end the week. So that's the video guys. Thank you for watching. And, um, I'll, I'll try and do an updated watch list on the Monday. So this is like an end of week update and a watch list. So we've got Euro, Aussie long, gold long, USD Swiss short. What about the USDN? 
just gonna have to sip the water here. Oh dear. Okay, USD yen. What I'd say to USD yen is that, yeah, like I'd be watching them too. So, USD yen's potential short too. All right, everyone, thank you for watching and bye for now. Have a great weekend. Study hard and I'll check in again uh, Monday afternoon with another update on what's looking good potentially. Bye.